This is the 2023 Acer Chromebook 314. I picked it up just before Christmas, so I wanted to give you guys my first impressions and a look around it. It's a pretty interesting proposition, more of an entry-level Chromebook, but with some higher spec internals. Those that on paper to me would even qualify this as a Chromebook Plus, but more on that later. I paid just £136, the equivalent of US$172 US for this as a grade A refurb, buying it on eBay here in the UK from Laptop Outlet Limited. This was a one-off listing, so I didn't share the deal on X like I usually do. The unboxing is fairly standard but I do like the fact that Acer put a bit more effort into the design and branding of their Chromebook boxes. It seems like they're also including a lot more unnecessary paperwork too but of course aside from the Chromebook it's just the 45 watt USB-C charger you want to watch out for. The spec of this particular Acer Chromebook 314 includes the Intel Core i3 N305 processor, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of eMMC storage as well as a 14 inch Full HD IPS non touchscreen and a full HD webcam. Very similar to the slightly larger HP 15A Chromebook Plus that I showed you on the channel in December. Perhaps this Acer hasn't been given the Plus status as a Chromebook as Acer are maybe trying to differentiate the 3 series from the 5 and 7 series. Or maybe not all model options of this 314 meet the spec. Let me know what you think in the comments. Model wise this one is a CB314-4H and I believe the version ending 4 HT will be the touchscreen model line, but as usual, double check the exact spec before you make any purchasing decision. I'll detail the exact model number of this one in the video's description. It's running 64 bit Chrome OS and the AUE date is June 2033, so that's when it's going to get Chrome OS updates until still a nice long life. It's a full plastic build for this one, as you may expect, with Acer's 3 Series Chromebooks as a more entry level device. It feels solid enough in the build, but a little cheapy at the same time, but that's possibly down to what's actually a good thing. It's pretty lightweight for a 14 inch Chromebook at 1.43 kg. That's about 3.16 pounds. The plastic that bothers me the most but isn't a deal breaker is the slightly larger plastic bezels that are a bit rough around the screen but that's really more aesthetics and the rear corners just feel a bit sharper or rougher than they needed to be too. It's not a convertible but the screen does go back 180 degrees as I show here. If you do want a convertible model from Acer you need to be looking for spin in the name. You can check out my video on the Spin 314 linked in the video description and likewise if you're looking for the older generation of the 314 I'll link my review for that one too. The keyboard deck features upward firing speakers which is nice to see in a change from the older 3 series Chromebooks. Much better having that sound firing up towards you. There's also the DTS branding the same as I saw on the Spin 314. I do like Acer's keyboards on their 3 series. For a budget Chromebook line I particularly like the feel of the deeper key travel and the trackpad is really excellent and although the name Ocean Glass refers to it being made from recycled bottles rather than it being a glass trackpad it does still feel really high quality for this 3 series Chromebook. The IPS display has a full HD resolution and a matte finish to it. As mentioned this particular model is non-touch. It seems bright enough to me for general indoor use although I'd estimate it's somewhere between 200 150 to 300 nits tops. At the top of the screen you'll find the Full HD webcam, another really nice inclusion on this more budget model, and that includes a manual privacy slider. Connectivity is pretty decent too, you've got dual USB A and C so it's nice to be able to charge from either side of your desk. You've also got a micro SD card slot, a headset audio jack and a Kensington lock port. And it's also compatible with Wi-Fi 6E. As this Chromebook has the Intel Core i3 N305 processor we all know that with great power comes heat and fans and looking around the back of this Chromebook you'll notice the vents. In fact only the right hand side is open and in use and then underneath you'll see the grille on the bottom. The fans have kicked in a bit during my initial use and they're not really too loud at all and there is a bit of heat with that too but I'm liking the fact that it's directed out to the rear of the Chromebook not just underneath. You'll have to wait for the full review for me to give my verdict on battery life but I was pleased to see this Acer has zero battery cycles so in terms of it being a refurb it was essentially unused based on that. Subscribe and tick the bell if you want to see that full review when I publish it and in the meantime here's another Chromebook video from the channel for you to check out.